Local philanthropist and radio talk show host Remy Duval was found dead today, the victim of a bizarre and brutal murder. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, uh, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McCarno's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You 
see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking ask me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Look like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Now the one, old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. <laughs> They're getting divorced, all right. It ain't gonna be pretty, either. Okay. We find this shine who killed Remy. Uh -huh. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. The fight? Nah, I didn't see it. I wanna watch two coons mix it up. I can do that any time in the hollow. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Get over here with that bottle, man. Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. Oh, 
Ooh, is that a new outfit? Oh, it looks grand on you. Anyway, I told you, your money's safe. Just give me until the end of the quarter, and we'll get you all squared away. End of year, Tops. Yep. Whatever you say. Hey. I've never actually seen a Bring that bottle over here. So I had some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Oh, the problem with that crowd is they've convinced themselves that being wealthy means that they have yes, daddy. Yes, I'll miss him Look at too. me. I'm rich as Midas. I mean, every oh, rest of the time is gone. On this block. Jesus. What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain wide pride, brother. Our condolences. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's all connected. You see? We, you, <laughs> me, him. Do you see our trails? Ah. See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn dogs. I can see your mind. I see Remy. No. Something's wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, man. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come down with some... <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. 
I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dashing, even. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly Romantic about all of this. <gasps> there ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's the Garmo? Uh, the Garmo. Uh, uh, they have me out in a building. Down by the water. Uh, uh, thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Huh? 
Come on. <laughs> you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Okay. He's dead. Christ! My hand is ruined! I barely even knew Remy! out there. Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home! I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it.
Take a load off, brother. I'll put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. We won't let that stand. We on the road to making a whole hell of a lot of money together, brother. We stick together in this, and we'll change the face of the holler for the better. Action like what we got right here is like wet pussy. If it's been long enough, ain't no such thing as a bad one. I want this piece. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. We know the struggle in ways others don't understand. Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. Look at you staying true to the holler. Impact of this kind of change is gonna be felt across the city. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire Bay. But twice in a row, now you cut me out. Just keep in mind, you do that to your own detriment. You're just keeping me around here to look pretty. Because right now, I'm struggling to find one god. Spokesman reported today that new closing in on your location. Stay sharp.
What are you driving, man? Right. Thanks to you. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our dwarfs. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. You getting in touch with your artistic side? My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the Tonton Makut bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Fre, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Once. But the bloody eye get the quick eye that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but. Oh -ho! Generously. 
it. Quite a few causes. I'm sorry to hear you gone. Fucking weird. Damn diddlers. Whites only.
take this shit and sell it to the jigs ourselves. Send a message loud and fucking clear to the entire goddamn. Who you think's gonna walk away, bitch? God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place. Look at who decided to stop by. Thought you forgot about me. Running weed takes time. That it does, Fred. Can't imagine what it must have been like running people. How many folks you think you got out of Haiti? I only remember those I could not save. Bullshit. When I was in country, once in a while we get a chance to evacuate a village before the napalm dropped. Wasn't an SOP, but we still did it. Had a couple close calls when the bombers showed up early. But I remember every single face. So how many were there? Forty-three. Should have been more, but some folks didn't trust us. Thought we were gonna march them into a shallow grave. Still remember the fear in their eyes. Nothing motivates quite as well as fear. Not a damn thing. So how would it? What was your count? Two hundred and twenty-six. Goddamn. One boat every night, but ten months. Mostly women and children. The men were either enlisted or disappeared. We had more refugees than we knew what to do with. They didn't always survive the trip, but dying on the bateau running from Papa Doc was better than the alternative. Dodging Dixie cocksucker sounds like Christmas morning by comparison. If you would have told me 15 years ago that all this would happen, I would have called you crazy. I believe I'd die an old man with my family all around me. Yeah. Not in this life, anyway. No. Not in this life. Keep winging in the marijuana, Frey. This is our life now. Go to this warehouse. Inside, there's a large stash of our wheat.
How about sending some new wheels to Delray Hollow? On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Four wheels and an engine. We're set. Appreciate it. Welcome, Brad. There's air. The bees are buzzing and the birds are chirping, Mr. Clay. And what they're telling me is that those Dixon motherfuckers are ducking down in the back of rundown shotgun shacks trying to sell off more of their guns. Where it is, Dixie's in need of money. Could have something to do with their partnership with the Southern Union. Make their stash hours, and we'll hit them where they hurt. Done last one. You stop you killing, dude.
come on it. Seeing big things out there on the streets. And it's all because of these guns. One of Dixie's biggest customers is our very own. Slowly but surely we grow. Frisco Fields is all heard about your handiwork with Remy Duval. Now that's how you reveal the truth to this goddamn thing. Woo!